All right. Once again, my brother here, Bernardo, badass world champion. Uh, you know, he's more well known with the, the kimono. I'm more well known without the kimono, but of course, overall, badass grappler. Thank you for coming. Oh, We're going to now look at, once again, the self defense. Yeah, there's so many DVDs and information about the ground. You know, I love it. That's what I do. But standing, a fight, God forbid, someone stuck up behind me. I don't know. Hopefully they didn't hit me in the head with a baseball bat, right? But they decided to choke me, right? Which is a problem, but if you know how to defend it, you can actually escape it pretty well, okay? And not everyone's a world level <laughs> black belt, right? The average person's not. Same as an average person would punch like this, right? It's not, <laughs> it's not Floyd Mayweather, okay? So if, but if, if you find someone like Floyd Mayweather trying to, to punch you, yeah, it's gonna be hard to see his punch he's a badass, okay? Right, uh, a, a world champion grappler besides Joki, it's going to be much harder to escape, of course. Okay, now the first thing we'll do three simple. Oh, I need as soon as I can to grab as close to his thumb. Thumb is better, but in this case, I have his wrist. Okay, and he did not knock me off balance. Second one's like a pull up bar on the and he knows his move, of course. It's not a hard fall, but it is a throw. You can do it fast, I'll do it slow. You're going to drop your, your, your base, right? And listen. I'm not going straight down, I'm going to tilt my right shoulder that way to my left foot because that's going to allow him to go straight away. And notice how he fell correctly, that's an important skill to learn. It's not a hard fall, but listen, I said this earlier, but more people die around the world from falling than from fist fights. Falling is actually more important than learning how to fight, actually. But fighting is important, <laughs> you know, you want to be able to defend yourself, okay? So if someone sneaks it behind me and I have the presence of my to catch at least the wrist. I want the thumb. So because he's such a high level, he got the thumb by me. Oh, they should book by his bus. If I have the thumb, it's better. But the wrist is acceptable, but I can't wait very long, okay? Second one's here like a pull, pull bar. Pull down with your arms. We're opening, right? I don't go straight far. I'm gonna tilt this way. And it's boom. And it's not a hard fall. Well, it's not that bad, but as you can see, he's not choking me anymore at this moment. Next situation, most of is it? Is when someone pulls you off balance like this, right? This is worse, but this is also very realistic. If someone can see, now, now, by the way, if they pull me all the way back to my to the ground or something, that's, that's bad, okay? Now, I imagine his right leg is in front of his left leg. Is that true? Yep. Huh, how would I know that? Experience. Actually, that's just the way it is. The one he's reaching with, that leg would be closer. Now listen, I can't really turn in place, but I want to find that leg, which I did, I found it. I don't turn in place, but I walk around that imaginary, kind of like a circum, and there's, I'm down. And this is not, a, that's an easy drop. It's not even a throw even, okay? So, but he pulled me off balance, which is a problem, okay? Listen, it's gonna be that same arm that entered that leg, 99% of the time. I don't even, I've never even found uh, the opposite case to be true, but it's possible, okay? But listen, you're gonna find the leg, just find it. I'm not turning in place, I'm hopping around. I'm doing it slow, of course, and I just, this is when you pull off base. Now. Last one we're gonna do. Now we're getting dangerous. Of course, I won't do it. I, won't, I promise. I'll, I'll be nice. Someone has me locked in a full, full choke. Full. I have three seconds, four seconds. I'm going to sleep. Hopefully, it's not one of my friends playing a joke on me. <laughs> if I knew it was, then you know, you tap, okay? But maybe they're trying to kill you. Who knows? All right? So. Of course, if someone gets me in a full bota, yeah, boom. Now, usually you can grab the fingers ah, because, listen, it's illegal in jiu-jitsu to grab the fingers. You have to grab three fingers. I'll grab one. It doesn't matter. I'll break it if I can, if it's a real fight, right? So guess what? I grab, I pull it off. And usually from here, you can just, you, can just, you're, you know, maybe I, I can turn, who knows, okay? So that's the first thing. Reach back, look for fingers. However, if he's an experienced street fighter who has a mix, he's gonna make a fist, both of them 
Fish show was, was, was better though. No? That's in the grab. I did that for a reason, to show you. I, I wasn't gonna sink in one second, but it was affecting me. That's how effective. I have, a, I have a big neck. It doesn't matter if you're small, skinny, or you're a female or male. I don't know of an individual who has muscles in the front <laughs> covering these uh, uh, arteries and, and veins of the carotid. Listen, you know, so if you have a strong neck, it's still exposed. Of course, it doesn't even hurt. Unfortunately, this person may have really bad intentions for me, okay? So, now, if we cannot grab the fingers, which usually is there. Matter of fact, average person who's not well trained will do this. It's, it's ridiculous. They will choke like this and they'll put their hand on the head. It's ridiculous. It's too easy. That's what, I swear, that, that's what the average guy who has six months of training type thing, which you find a lot all around the world. That's what, it's too easy to escape. Too easy. Grab the fingers, you're gone, okay? But if you stay there, you go to sleep. But now we found a guy who was really experienced. He's in, and he made a fist. A little respect for his eyes, you know what I do. Oh, let's just say in my life, I've done this in real life and in, in real, let's say, real serious situations outside of the cage or outside of pride. I, I, I don't start. I don't go on picking fights. But I'm saying in my life, this has happened. Okay, here, people reach back. To, to, to uh, gouge my eyes, I, just cut, I cut my eyes. So you could try that, but it's a little bit overrated. You don't always find the eyes. Even if you did, you only have like three or four seconds and you're sleeping, okay? So now, this one, I'm not gonna finish the move because it's kind of terrifying, but realize, I'm gonna die. That's, that's what I'm thinking, what, what else? He's my friend all the time, no problem. Hey, you got me, bro, good job. <laughs> I shouldn't let him sneak up behind me, okay? But now, I don't know who this guy is. Boom. What, what the hell? What, what? Boom. He puts a fist. I only have a few. He, he's being very nice to me. I have two, three, four seconds. I mean, now, it's the same way as the other one in. It steps across. Now, I can do it like this or lock. Now, in this moment. But, but. Okay. Most people will let go now because it's off the ground. But. What I do is I will actually jump in the air. I will jump in the air. The first thing that hits the ground will be his face. Now, does that, he can let go of the choke and not hit his face. It's up to him. But guess what? Everyone I've tried this on let go of the choke. It's like human like self-preservation. Like you don't want your face, to, if it was concrete, I mean, that's terrible. And by the way, unfortunately, our brother Morongo and UFC, who, who was a good friend of mine, he had a, he had a choke on the guy who, in UFC, and he, the guy, he had hooks, and the guy did a forward, and it hit his head, and Ron goes, you know, he lost the fight. He didn't get knocked out, but he lost the fight because he was not the same, okay? So realize, this distance falling head to the mat, that was a mat. I mean, the UFC canvas, it's rough, but it's, it's padded, right? Even that damage, top of the head, anywhere. This is a problem, okay? Agora, a próxima vez, pode ficar. Eu não, não vou botar você na sua cabeça. Eu te juro, ok? Bom, sim. So now he's gonna hold on. Ok, now who is this guy? Shit. Sorry about my language. Step. Now, imagine. No, no. Fica, fica, fica. Ok. Fica, sim. Ok, sim. That's usually what happens. They're like, over here. Okay, step. And then, I'm gonna jump. I will jump. I will jump that way. In the air. And it's his decision. If he doesn't let go, well, probably he's knocked out, and then he's gonna let go. And most people will let go as soon as you pick him up, or if you start to jump, <laughs> they have to let go. I mean, if they're smart. If they're not smart, well, there's some special people out there that won't let go, and it's gonna be a very bad day for them. This would be like literally life and death uh, <laughs> application of this move. Do not do this, please, in an academy. Don't hurt your friends but this is reality. Thank you.